So today we're going to do something a little crazy and drift this 2013 Ram Runner. Now, this thing does indeed look sick. I mean, it's like Ram's version of the Raptor, really, is, is what I'm, I'm thinking here. But Ram Viper? I, I don't know what, what they're going for with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a very big truck. It's going to be interesting, but, but I mean, Mopar or no car, am I right? No par, no car. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. Well, let's take a look under the the belly of this beast. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ah, that looks nice. Um. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. Um. 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. I don't know if that's diesel or not. I don't think it is, but maybe. Who knows? V8 470 foot pounds of torque. Only 390 horsepower. Really? Naturally aspirated? Yeah. Let's take a look in here, buddies. Ooh, ooh, this looks nice. Yeah, this looks nice. Oh, it's an automatic. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this sounds good. But I, I do think we've got lots of work to do here. Um, yeah, yeah, but uh, let's actually let's actually do some shit now. Uh, okay, so mm, the first thing we have to change is the drivetrain because it is all-wheel drive and although you can drift all-wheel drive, I'm not about that life, so I'm not going to. And I might I might want to throw in a different engine. I mean, it's a truck, 5.7 liters, it's just, it's not enough. So I'm going to throw in this 7 liter V8 Hemi and yeah, that's good. And I, I think I'm actually going to twin turbo it or maybe supercharge it i'm kind of feeling the superchargers because yeah i always use twin turbos i gotta do something different right i think i'm just gonna fully upgrade this see how much power it gets us uh, we're gonna need a lot because this is this is a very heavy beast she, she's weighing a few oh wow yeah yeah she weighs six thousand pounds so three tons and now with that done, we are making 731 horsepower 720 foot pounds of torque and we still weigh six thousand pounds but that should be enough power. Um, yeah, I mean, I, we'll be able to do it. Now, I want to see how much, how much, oh my god. That gets rid of 1,300 pounds. That is so nice. Yes, all right, good, good. Now we only weigh 4,500 pounds, which is still heavy. But it's not, it's not like, it's not crazy. Um, and I'll go and throw in the roll cage because this is going to be nice and loose. Or I, I, I don't imagine a truck being very stiff chassis you know but i might be just completely wrong because i am very often completely wrong and we can't really slam it which is, which is a little sad but you can definitely get some new coils in there we're just lightening her up and we'll make her stiffer and brakes oh i like the red the red srt and the red brake calibers that's looking nice speaking of which we do need some new wheels because those wheels aren't looking that great um but i'm gonna fully upgrade the drivetrain because i always do that Okay, I'm gonna go wheels first. Um, throw on something. Oh, I mean, everything's really gonna look good. And I think these are my favorite so far. Um, I'm gonna look at these. Oh yeah, it's perfect. They're super light and they look good. Nice, nice. Best, best of both worlds. I think since it's kind of like a drift car, I'm gonna make them bigger. Just it looks more street, you know, orientated. That might just be me, though. It's funny, because these are pretty wide tires, but they don't look that wide on this car. Because this thing's huge. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep 315s in the back. 315s in front, that should be good. Um, oh, this thing looks sick with, like, racing sport tire and race and stuff. I think I'm going to put street tire compound on it, just so it doesn't look like an off-road. Oh, but see, like, ugh, stock tire compound looks so sick. I'm going to keep stock. I'm going to keep stock. So, I'm going to put in, like... 1.5 in the front, 0.5 in the back, toe out, angle, caster, front, high. I didn't say those in the right order, but that's okay. I always soften up the front and stiffen up the back a little bit. Um, not too much, but just a little bit. It kind of feels a little better. And I'll slam the car, air quote slam, because I'm not actually doing that much. Oh, and look at that. The differential already comes locked. Now they know what we want. That's awesome. 
It doesn't look much different. It's a little bit lower. Looks a little bit more street, streety, streetish, street, street. It still looks badass. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I love this thing. Is it as good as the Raptor? Maybe that's a good idea for a challenge. Ooh. But let's drift it. I, I'd say let's drift it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brap, 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 brap. I like to take this moment to thank you guys so much for the support my channel has been getting. It's it's crazy. Like I'm getting so many comments. I'm getting so many subscribers and likes. It's just it's awesome. I think yesterday I hit 5,000 subscribers. Today, no, two days ago I hit 5,000 subscribers. Today I am at 5,600 probably by the time I upload. But um, anyway, this thing looks sick. It's got a little bit of stance, which looks nice, but it's not you know like retard retarded stance. No. Oh. Oh yes, it sounds nice. Damn, this thing, I just love it. Even though, oh, mm -mm, stalled it. Come on, burn out. I can do a rolling burnout. I cannot do a standing burnout though. Yeah, whoa. Oh, no, 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 okay. I didn't let it die, good. Good, good, good. Oh, this feels so weird. Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm going to have to get used to this. It's just like, it's so like, it feels so, it, it feels so calm. Cause I'm used to like, drifting things with like so much power that anytime you want to go drift, you're just like bouncing off that rev limiter. But this thing is just, it's weird. It's very weird. All right, let's, let's see if we can do something here. Come on, stay sideways. It's not, it's not wanting to stay sideways. This is tricky. This is very tricky. I think this is the most challenging build I've actually had. All right, but we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the map here because this, this is dumb. Oh my God, just, oh my God. No, no. <gasps> this beautiful beast. Wow, the back was really, really bouncy. This is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten all the gears. Okay. And I'm gonna get some more front camber. And there we go. Let's see, what, let's see how that feels. Oh, it's feeling much better. Oh, I think it was really those gears. They were just way too long. Yeah, there we go. It still feels very calm, because it's not like, you know, rapidly rapping, but it feels good until I lose it there. But, oh, I just love the front of this car. Truck. Yeah, truck. It looks so badass. Now, a true test, can it... Can it drift, drift this long corner? I mean, it's not a quick drifter. You're not gonna be going around corners at like 80 miles per hour, but it, it drifts. It does indeed drift. Why the people at Turn 10 Studios decided to put this in the game instead of the S14, I, I don't know. But you know, they can do what they want. I mean, this thing is, it is really badass, but it's so slow, it, it can't do anything, really. Gas though, it it can slide. It's a little tricky, but it, it can do it. Oh. Hello, mom. Hi. I mean, just look at this thing. But what I was going to say is that I am just so used to um, driving low displacement turbo cars, which just have insane turbo lag and bounce off the rev limiter really, really quickly. Um, this is literally the complete opposite because it's high displacement, seven liters, and it's supercharged. Um, now I'm not doing very good at it, so maybe I should stick to the, the four bangers, but 
I'm having a blast. Um, and just for the just for the shits and giggles, I'm gonna go swap in that NASCAR engine. It's gonna be making the thousand horsepower, so it should be a little bit better. Um, let's just finish these two corners, though. See, the car's just so heavy that once you get sliding, you don't stop. You gotta be careful about that. So thankfully, the build did indeed work with the seven liter heavy, because, you know, Mopar, no car. I wanted to keep it true to its roots. But now we're gonna have some fun and get some NASCAR engine, which before removing any restrictors still has more power than the fully up, ooh, uh, fully upgraded uh, Hemi, but ooh, that's nice. 1,000 horsepower, 783, so 800 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs lighter, so now is when we should have, yeah, this is gonna be much better. Oh, I can do a better burnout, yes. Oh my. Is it just me? Are trucks doing burnouts the most badass thing ever? Like, sure, I love seeing an import or a muscle car doing a burnout, but trucks, dude. Oh, I hate the ending on that. Damn it, I managed to keep it in until that, that last point right there. Um, oh. Ah! Why is it so bouncy? Jesus! I mean, actually, I kind of survived that pretty well. It's a little better, but I'm still not, I'm not like, I'm not, exactly proud of this so I'm gonna I'm gonna put these street tires on all right I can still do a burnout so that's that's uh, that's what matters here I'm definitely gripping up more hmm that's kind of scaring me and I'm still kind of losing my momentum but feels a little better Nope, those street tire compounds really did absolutely nothing. They've just made it maybe a tiny bit better. Nope, take that back. They just are rubbish. Yeah, I mean, it can still get sideways. I honestly think the most important thing about this truck is that it looks absolutely badass. By far the worst drifting vehicle I have in my garage, but close to the best looking vehicle I have in my garage. I just, I love it. So, well guys, I'd like to thank you so much for taking your time and watching this video today. Interesting build. Um, I think we kind of managed it. it. It was close. It's, it's not very good at drifting. but. It's good at roasting tires, that's for sure. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat below. You can also check out some other videos here. Hopefully we got some more challenges coming up soon. I've got some great ideas, but have a fantastic day, guys. Oh.